When it comes to mastering and artificial intelligence, Lander has had over 10 plus years in the game. Since their online mastering service launched, they've been the go-to source for uploading your tracks to get that professional finished polish on your unmastered music. Even though it's not that hard to bounce out your track and upload it to the website to get it mastered, it would be way more convenient if all that technology could just be somehow put right into your DAW right on the master bus so that we could just bounce our song out once and be finished. So Lander has come up with what I think is truly the most user-friendly AI mastering experience with their new Lander mastering plugin. Now this plugin works in literally every DAW and it gives you everything you'd expect if you've ever used their online mastering service, but it takes it a step further in customizability and flexibility to really dial in your sound to perfection. So what I'm gonna do is put the Lander mastering plugin to the ultimate test and load it up in three different DAWs and master three different styles of music right inside the production session. So let's dive into Ableton first in a down-tempo dance track that I produced for Kara called Stranger, and we're gonna drop Lander Mastering on the song. I'm gonna play it from the beginning while I load up the plugin. Simply type in Mastering and drop it on your master bus. Now when you open the plugin, it's already listening. A smart trick that they always recommend is for the best results, have the loudest part of your song playing when you first listen. So I'm gonna skip the intro and go straight to when the drums kick in. And let's re-listen. And here we are inside of our AI generated master chain. Now it did some assessments to predict our genre and target loudness and things like that. But what it gives you are a really nice amount of simple options to really dial in and perfect the sound that you had in your mind here inside of Lander Mastering. First are your mastering styles. And this offers three different starting presets for variations in tone, dynamics, and width. Warm generally has a more vintage character with an emphasis on lower mids and smoother highs. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you have open, which is way more modern sounding with an emphasis on punch and presence. Finally, right in between the two, you have balanced, which is more controlled with a focus on clarity and depth. Let's start with balanced and then switch between the other presets and see what we hear. open on this one, so I think for this dance example, I'm gonna stick with this preset. Now we have an equalizer, and we could just boost or reduce low, mids, or highs. And now that we're into the tweaking section, we don't have to keep looping the loudest part, we could just kind of loop the whole song and let it play as we make adjustments. <laughs> Mid-range sounds smooth. I need to find me a stranger. Some highs. Turn up the lows. Presence, which is a combination of mids and high frequencies, it really helps your vocals stand out nice. So I'm gonna skip forward and adjust this while the vocal is playing. This is really your loudness kind of EQ range. When you push this, the song just feels louder even though you're just boosting a section of the EQ. So I really love this presence. And then of course you could counteract it with a little de-essing. But this is mostly something I would do in the mix rather than on the master chain. But if you didn't have the flexibility of making an adjustment in the mix, it's really nice that they have it in here. Beside the de we have our overall loudness knob, and this is basically how hard we're pushing our volume maximizer. Or we could even push it a little bit less by turning it to the left. Let's go forward when it's bumping. And you can 
see we're getting pretty loud here on the LUFS. Let's go down a little bit. Stereo field for extra width. That sounds nice. Maybe less. And then a compression section. You have the amount or ratio of compression. And then you also have the speed. Slower compression to the right, faster compression to the left. Let's go a little slower and a little lower. And then finally, you can increase the harmonic saturation for that analog warmth on our master chain. Let's hear our track before and after. Oh my goodness. Back on. That was a huge difference. Now, of course, that wasn't gain matched, but they have a gain match button right here. So when you bypass it, you're not getting extra impressed by the increase in volume. You're just hearing the change of tone. Bypass. Back on. Bypass. Let's turn off gain match. Turn up our loudness a little bit more. Because with dance music, I think it's okay to be a little extra edgy with how hard you go with the loudness. And we are ready to export our master through Lander Mastering. So as you can see, you don't really need to know a ton about mastering to take advantage of the power of AI and really dial it into taste to make it match your original artistic intent. So this song is ready to bounce. Let's jump into our next DAW and check out Lander Mastering on a different example. Here in Logic, I have a hip hop track pulled up by Kara called Room With The Boom. And we're gonna drop the same plugin here on the master chain. Let's just load it up. Let's drop Lander Mastering. Find me in the back of the room with the boom. What you think about that? And let's skip forward to the loudest part of the song, which will probably be over here with all the vocals. Let's just hit cancel to reset the listening. And just as easy as that, you have your AI generated master chain. So let's start this over from the beginning. And now that we know what all these controls do, I'm just gonna listen as the song plays all the way through top to bottom and dial in the flavor that I like. Yeah. Find me in the back of the room these with the crispy. Boom. What you think about that? What you think about Cause that? I know that you want it. I do too if I'm honest. Definitely a little mid. L O V with the E in my body's the key. Open up if you do it right. It's getting hot. Wasabi. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Hey, oh DJ, spin it back, spin it back like um bum bum. Um bum bum. One on one, one a bad, one a bad like um bum bum. Um bum bum. Good already. Find me in the back of the room with the boom. What you think about Let's try that? on and off. Because I know that you want it. I do too if I'm honest. If I'm honest. Yeah. L O V with the E in my body's the key. Hey. 
find me in the back of the room with the boom what you think about that because i know that you want it some stereo with i do too if i'm honest if i'm honest yeah L-O-V with the E and my body's the key Little Open less up if you do it right It's getting hot, wasabi hey. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry nope. Ayo, DJ, spin it back, spin it back Like um, bum bum um, bum bum One on one, one a bad, one a bad Like hey. um, bum bum And here um, we bum, have bum, our bum, lander yeah. master oh. chain For this song, I chose to go for warm. I felt it f- matched the hip hop style to have that thicker, smoother bass in there, turn down the loudness because the mix kind of already had a lot of good loudness going on. Even though it wasn't clipping the master going in, it still had plenty of loudness just coming from the mix and the vocal recordings and the synth. So we didn't need to do a lot of extra loudness pushing with the mastering plug in itself, which is the goal. We reached a nice level of minus nine or 10 LUFS, which I think is perfectly where you want to be for hip hop or dance track. You always want the streaming platform to be turned turning down your song slightly. You don't want to be delivering your song at a turned down level to the platform. Two, if I'm honest, if I'm honest, yeah. So let's take a listen to our song e and bypass it one more time. Is the key. Open up if you do it right. It's getting hot. What's up, babe? I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Nope. Ayo, DJ, bypass. spin it back, spin it back like um, bum, bum, um, bum, bum. Master. One on one, one a bad, one a bad. So there you have how I'd use this in a hip hop example in Logic using Lander mastering. Finally, we're gonna slow it all the way down and see how this can handle a smooth and delicate ballad that we have here in FL Studio. Let's open up our mixer. More plugins. Search for the word mastering. And let's open up Lander mastering. And since this song is a ballad, there's not really a loudest part, it's just piano and singing. Let's just let this section play right in. And here we are in our AI master chain. So for this, I'm definitely going to turn the loudness down. For this genre, we're not going to need it. I like balance for this. Let's keep going into our EQ. I'm drowning in the wave. Taking me deeper where it's only black and blue. I love how this feels in the low end. You said you're here to stay. Probably not too much of the highs. But we already lost and we're so far removed. But definitely a little presence. Hey, right, For this, I might actually use the de-esser. Just smooths it out really nicely. If you want to say you're sorry, you know where to call me. But you don't even try. Let's skip the width at zero. It's just piano and singing. Is a tragedy. That's the story of my life. I'm definitely going to use more compression on this to glue it all together. Hey. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. A little bit of satch. 
alteration. Let's play this from the top again. Might do a lot of saturation on this one. Let's get it nice and warm. Body's cold to touch. Let's push the loudness a little bit more. Let's reset our LUFS by just clicking on it. Yeah, minus 11, minus 10 is where I'm going to try and be for this one. Back on. If you wanna say Let's do that again with the gain match. You know where to call me, but you don't Bypass. even try. Back on. Let's do a little less compression, a little less saturation. Bypass. And it's as simple as that to create a master chain for any type of song using the power of AI right inside the DAW you already use. I love how Lander has taken AI mastering and brought it back into the DAW, which is quite personally where I prefer for my master chain to be, because it gives you the best of both worlds where you could still make adjustments to your mix and still have the flexibility and ease of AI mastering. If you wanna try Lander mastering for yourself, I'll include a link in the description below and catch you guys next time in another video. Peace out.